This is the 11th lecture in a series of lectures on premises cabling by the Fiber Optic Association. In this lecture, we're going to talk about counterfeit cabling and the dangers that it presents to the cabling industry. What is counterfeit cabling? Counterfeit cabling is cabling that looks just like Cat5, but uses substandard conductors, insulation, and jacketing. It's probably made on the same production lines as regular Cat5, but it may not meet the performance standards that are required for Cat5. It may have too high a resistance for power over Ethernet, and it may be a fire and smoke hazard. Here's a sample of counterfeit cable that was sent to us by a contractor. The box is a plain white box with no manufacturer or importer data on the box. It has a UL logo but no registration number. And if you look at the cable you find the same thing. It says it's UL and TIA EIA certified cable but it has no registration numbers. Here's a closer look at the box. You can see it's plain white box, no identification of the manufacturer, and the um, UL logo is the old style logo. The contractor who sent us this cable was having trouble installing it. The wires kept breaking on punch down blocks. When he looked closely at the wires, he said, that's not copper. He looked closely at the center, and it was white. It was aluminum, clad in a thin layer of copper. This wire will not meet Cat5 performance specs. It has higher resistance than copper, so it can cause high voltage drops and heat buildup when you use power over Ethernet systems. But it weighs about two-thirds of the weight of copper cable. So he originally thought that you could find the boxes of this kind of cable by weighing them. Until the counterfeiters realized that was the case and started putting ballast in the box, so they weigh the same. Here's a closer look at the wire. That wire is only a half a millimeter across. But you can see there's hardly any copper at all. It's almost all aluminum with the thinnest layer of copper on the outside. That's not what Cat5 is supposed to be. Another contractor who called us wondered about the flammability of this cable, so he had some tested, and it failed. We thought we would try to do a demonstration ourselves. Flammability can be a major safety issue. The cable can promote the spread of fire and cause toxic fumes. So if the conductors are counterfeit, how about the insulation? We don't have the facilities for a scientific test, but we went out into the barn and did our own test. This is a section of that counterfeit cable. We set it up in a safe place in our barn and used a flame to see what would happen if we tried to burn it. Watch what happens. What you can't smell is the toxic fumes that this burning gave us. Now here's a similar test done with a piece of cable that is UL approved. We captured frames from those two videos so you could see the peak burning 
for the counterfeit cable on the left and the real cable on the right. There's quite a significant difference. Again, this isn't a scientific test, but it's fairly obvious that the counterfeit cable is nowhere near as flame retardant as the UL approved cable. How do you avoid getting counterfeit cable? Well, first of all, buy from reputable vendors who know where their cable comes from. Don't buy cable in unmarked boxes. If it doesn't say who the manufacturer is and where it was manufactured, it may well be counterfeit. Check the UL and ETL websites. You can check those for registration numbers to see if they're real or if they're counterfeit. And look at a sample of the cable magnified and see what the conductors look like. Particularly for CAT5, there's a lot of cable around that is copper-coated aluminum or even copper-coated steel. We're the FOA, the Professional Society of Fiber Optics and Premises Cabling. Be sure to check out all the other YouTube videos and all of our technical information on our website at www.thefoa.org.